Thank you to MSI for sponsoring this video. This is my Switch. I've always wanted something like more. Impressive games, games that I can kind of get lost in and kind of get competitive with. What I really want is an Xbox Series X that I can take with me anywhere. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gaming laptops are a thing. All right, so this is the MSI GS66 Dell. PCs and like laptops in general. I mean, at, at this point, they're a dime a dozen. You can go online and find a ton of sales from different manufacturers. I think it's hard to find a computer that can sort of stand out now from the crowd. And MSI has been kind of doing some really cool things for a few years, making their whole line a bit different from what the competitors are offering. What really matters, why you're probably looking to buy one of these is performance. What can it handle? And probably more specifically, like, what games can it roll with? So our models got 32 gigabytes of RAM and the 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor, rocking the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super Max Q. You can also opt up if you want to the 10th gen Core i9. So ours has a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, which is awesome. And that plus the RAM is user upgradable. There's actually another M.2 slot available if you want to drop in another one. So obviously it's, it's running Windows 10 here, but there's some custom MSI stuff uh, as well. So you've got their own Dragon Center, which kind of lets you prioritize what your computer is going to be doing. So you can go into game mode for most performance. It's gonna free up memory and sort of prioritize system resources. You can also adjust the monitor color depending on your task that you're doing. You can also monitor the CPU and GPU usage on your system. So you know if you've gotta close some background apps or programs, or you wanna keep pushing it. So I like when manufacturers are doing this stuff. It gives you the benefits of customization without ruining, I think, the really nice clean look of Windows 10. So kind of coming back to my, my dream scenario, my portable Xbox Series X. I want something that can game to that level of performance. Something that can play these next generation games. Now obviously you can build a PC that can easily do that, but you want something that's smaller and portable that still has that level of sort of graphic fidelity can become a bit trickier. And I think the barriers to entry of any computer and the one we're testing is like 2,800 bucks. So like you would expect things to feel fast for that price, right? Like the normal stuff, opening web browsers, apps, multitasking, you know, usual computer things, that should be fast. And it definitely is here. But really where you want to see like, are you getting your money's worth is when you push it harder. So the first game I tested was Warzone, which I realize I am not good at, uh, but it is fun and it runs great here. The settings are all on the highest it'll go. Refresh rate was set to 300 hertz and frame rates never dropped below 100 FPS. By the way, did I mention this has a 300 hertz 1080p panel, which I will talk about, but 300 hertz all the things look so good. So a lot of times with laptops, you have to like make a choice between frame rates and, and graphics, but here you can do both. And if you wanna drop the graphics, you can up the frame rates, but you get a really nice combo of both of those things here. So not just gaming laptops, but like laptops in general, sometimes the thermals are problematic and you tend to get throttled performance when you know, you're not plugged in or even sometimes when you are. Uh, not gonna be a problem here with the GS66 Stealth. So it's got something called Cooler Boost Trinity Plus Cooling System. Uh, it's kind of a mouthful, but it boils down to it. it puts out just like a ton of air for how small this laptop is. The MSI is actually using 0.1 millimeter thin fan blades with 67 blades on each fan. Uh, and you can tell that there's a lot of blades on there. So another game that I tend to always come back to on console is Rocket League. And unsurprisingly, it looks awesome here with everything on high and refresh at the 300 Hertz. The game looks about as close to perfect as you can get. So those are just the games that I tested, but I think the moral is any sort of tier one, A plus level game that's out right now, this can play at pretty close to max settings. It's like, in all honesty, I'm not a pro gamer. I'm somebody who likes to game when I have time. I didn't notice any minute differences here between what I got on the MSI versus on a custom rigged and custom built, you know, gaming PC. 
things looked awesome. That's what mattered to me. Could I run the games that I wanna play at their high settings? And that was a resounding yes. And that's not something that you can say with a lot of other gaming laptops. Usually there's a sacrifice you have to make in order to get that portability. And I didn't feel that sacrifice had to be made with the MSI. It's so like obviously the, the Xbox Series X isn't out right now, but we, for the most part, know what it's going to do, the hardware that's inside of it and what it's capable of. So trying to sort of mimic that level of like gaming fidelity on a laptop is certainly not easy, but I do feel like I am really close to it with what the MSI is offering. And seeing as how I'm getting that in really portable laptop, my like, initial quest for that portable Xbox Series X, at least appears to have paid off. So gaming is one thing, and it's probably the most important thing for a laptop of this price and category. But like, maybe I'm a little bit vain, but also if I'm dropping that kind of cash on some hardware, I want it to look good too. So the core black chassis design of the GS66, I think, at least to my eye, absolutely nails this. It does all the stuff that you'd expect. It's, it's thin, it's light, while still feeling you know rigid and strong. And I don't know what your taste is. Some gaming laptops like scream, like, look at me. Uh, this one's a little more subtle. I prefer that. Uh, it won a ton of awards too. It won the Red Dot Award for Design. It won the IF Award. It looks really good. And sort of, you might not be able to tell how beastly it is, you know, just by looking at the computer. And that's something that I kind of like. It's understated for what it does. This laptop would be home, you know, at a LAN party or out at a coffee shop when that's a thing we can do again. Wherever you are, it's not gonna draw like unwanted attention, but it still looks and feels premium. When it comes to really anything I review, I am a display snob. I've admitted it. I gush when I see a phone with 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, this has a 300 hertz refresh rate and is a 1080p panel. And as good as I thought 120 hertz looks on a little phone, uh, 300 looks almost unbelievable here. And I'm not talking just with like gaming and the sort of hardcore things like website scrolling, normal computer stuff, going through settings and control panels. It's a hard thing to describe. You have to really see it yourself to know how awesome it really is. In any laptop, regardless of like what its use case is, keyboard and trackpad like have to be good. And there's a lot of other hardware stuff to talk about, but I wanna start with those too. Uh, this has probably the longest trackpad that I have ever used. Scrolling was really smooth. There was no stutter at all. Keyboard is also awesome. Uh, it does appear that they took, let's say, heavy influence from uh, the Spider-Man font on this. Key throw was really good. There's a bunch of RGB action happening too. If that's your jam, you can customize it however you want. I really liked the keyboard and everything else that you would expect to be here, especially at this price is here. Uh, one of my favorites, Windows Hello uh, for a webcam is here. So you can use your face to log in. I wish more laptops use that level of biometric authentication uh, here as well. And IO for absolute days on this thing. So USB-C with Thunderbolt 3 support, a full-size HDMI out, USB-A, headphone jack, full-size Ethernet port, killer Wi-Fi 6 here also. Killer Wi-Fi 6 isn't like me describing it as like awesome Wi-Fi 6. Uh, it's an actual term that sort of optimizes Wi-Fi performance for, for gaming to make sure that you're never gonna have, or at least limit the amount of latency or lag you can have that's dependent on Wi-Fi. The IO is like really full featured for a laptop of the size. Uh, plus, they packed in the biggest battery that they could and still let you take this thing on a plane. It's 99.9 .9 watt hours and has a 100 watt power delivery system. So you're gonna get a ton of battery life. And it does look like they took heavy influence from like the old Xbox uh, power bricks to make this thing work. But you can charge it if you want via that USB-C uh, Thunderbolt port. So I think it's easy to find a laptop that it does like one thing really well. Do you want a laptop that's going to be light and portable? Do you want a laptop that's good for gaming? But it's hard to find one computer that does all those things really well. And I think MSI has delivered that with the GS66 Stealth. Now it's not a cheap computer. It's certainly on the more expensive side of what you can get with laptops. So ours is 2,800 bucks. You can spec it out however you want. You can go more or less expensive. I'll link to it down below if you want to sort of spec out you know, your own custom rate. But you are getting your money's worth. Uh, I love 
that RAM and SSD are user upgradable. That sort of gives me a computer that's going to last me longer. The 300 Hertz refresh screen was amazing. I liked using this computer and I could see myself using this computer for almost anything.